And now? Am I still alive? How many people are watching space? Two. <laughs> One. One. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not going to be long. Uh, so the rand is now 12 rand 98 or 95. 11. 11 rand 95 against the dollar or to the dollar or on the dollar, whatever the English and economics uh, appropriate English is and uh, a couple of things if you have dollars especially you people who claim to be forex trading uh, cash flow if you are watching boy uh, <laughs> and space is friend space what's your friend Ref Wayne. Ref Wayne, if you are watching <laughs> uh, I want to buy some dollars um, anyway so now obviously the petrol price at some stage is going to come down. But we've noticed that every time the rent is performing against the dollar, well, if it's performing badly, the petrol price goes up. And then taxi drivers increase taxi fares and pretty much everything else, you know, cost of food, yada, yada, uh, goes up in South Africa. But we've also noticed every time the dollar comes down, against the rand or the rand goes up against the dollar uh, the taxi driver f and uh, the taxi fare doesn't necessarily go lower or come down maybe taxi drivers forgot or maybe they don't check when it goes up or they just don't want to remember I don't know uh, maybe there is some taxi drivers on my timeline um, actually, that's not even my question. That's space. Space was asking. So, space. Sure. You have a question. It's not really a question. It's such. That was a statement. Tore. Why does taxi fare not go down when when the rent is stronger? <laughs> if you agree with space. Uh, Comment, let us know. If you don't comment now, I'm going to post this on my Twitter and then let us know your comments. If you are taxi drivers, please comment. Maybe a member of Santaco. Uh, do com Songs, do you believe? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Does space it doesn't, have a. Yeah, he's got a valid argument. point. He has a valid point. Yeah, no, there's a, there's a valid point. Uh, maybe there are experts on my timeline. Uh, those ones that are always on ENCA and uh, N7. What expect? Ex expect today as well as an expert on the rent uh, winning against the dollar and uh, price of petrol expected to come down. But even in the past, when it does, when the rent does perform better against the dollar, the, the taxi fares have never really gone back to what they were previously before the rent was performing badly so and yeah that's that's all i wanted to say for now uh talking about the rent funny enough we've taken uh the cheapest ticket from at black song the comedy show from 295 to 250. so we knew the rent was gonna perform better against the dollar so we are way ahead we're way ahead um, so get your tickets at CompuTicket, March 24th is the first Black Songly uh, this year, Empress Palace. Uh, it's called Black Songly Comedy Top 6, as in uh, we all know who just got a new Top 6. So we're going to go there. I'm going to take it there. Uh, Black Songly Comedy Top 6, tickets at CompuTicket from 250, 24th March at Empress Palace. In Tosh Matlingos. Uh, Dylan Oliphant, Tapelo Kingflat, Chester Messing, Conrad Koch. I think that's already more than one person. And uh, who else? There's someone, Robbie Collins. Uh, and then there's one woman in the top six, so Celeste and Dooley. Um, look, technically Chester and Conrad are not two people. And then I'll be the person announcing the top six. So check it out and if you have dollars not fake ones real ones um, how can you tell the real ones 
Huh? How can you tell the real from fake? Uh, we well, we have a machine. We have a machine that remember the one I bought for my Christmas party. Oh yeah. Uh, we've got a machine. We can tell if your money is fake. So don't try it. Um, I think I must buy all currencies. Okay, so I got cut off. Um, oh, that was a call from uh, McDonald Midran How Train because I filed a complaint or laid a complaint or tweeted a complaint a few days ago about my crop um, the deluxe that I was not happy with and uh, I guess it's kind of resolved um, I can go and get a free one but Song has got a problem because songs you had filed a complaint I got nothing all they said to me is that they're gonna work on their system and I must just be strong what, what happened what happened first? Oh, I didn't get the dip. I had yeah, ordered. Yeah, you didn't get the dip. I had ordered the what? The nuggets. Yeah. And then I didn't. They didn't bring the dip. Mm -hmm. Then the guy put, he was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to the shop and I'll come back. And he then was an hour and then I'm going to. Then after an hour, then he calls me from the shop. Oh, which dip do you want? And it's like. Yeah, an hour later. Yeah, that's what. Yeah. Then it's like, are these nuggets even still edible at this point? <laughs> then I was just like. Just leave it. I think then the guy came yeah, and the guy came back. I said, I don't want the No, nuggets. no. Like, so it, it wasn't the same guy. It was the other guy, remember? Because the one who came here was shaking. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, he didn't have, have any idea no, what one was doing. Yeah, uh, but you know, that one was shaking. You know, <laughs> was, so, and I was trying hard not to laugh. So that day, I didn't eat the nuggets. I basically ended up eating chips and juice. Yeah. Chips and juice? I, from I know it's January, but chips and juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, juice he had to take back the nuggets. I was like, How oh, he you took them back? Yes, he took them. And then he never came back. Then I said, bring a fresh bunch of nuggets and the dip. And then it was just two hours of everything. So I said, I'm not going to. Okay, so li listen, McDonald's, you do what you have to do. At least you've got proof that you filed complaints and they never got back to you, right? Yes, there are tweets. I guess the argument is, did you only receive my complaint because I'm David Cow and I'm verified and I've got 720 something thousand followers. I don't know. So how many followers do you have? Um, <laughs> not, not sure. No, but I think, it's, I think it might be 2K at least. Okay, so anyway, Back to the petrol price and the rand uh, winning against the dollar. So we spoke about it. This is in part one. This is part two. But I'm going to be traveling soon. So if these people who claim to be forex traders and if, if you're in the business of selling foreign currency or you have like a, what do you call those places where you change or exchange uh, foreign money? and it's legal um, or maybe you traveled and you still have uh, dollars with you I'll buy them from you I'm gonna try but remember the rent is winning so <laughs> best you sell them to me now I don't want too much I'm not moving there I'm literally just going for lunch or dinner or like one or two meetings um, so, so yeah I'm coming to I'm coming to LA soon I might uh, once I'm in the States, I can be anywhere. Uh, trust me, I will. So, what was I trying to... What? Why is this thing... There's people writing in language I don't understand here. Anyway, so the argument is the petrol price and the rent has gone up. The petrol price will come down. We know this. But taxi fare never ever comes down when the rand is, is up against the dollar. Uh, maybe the price of crude, I don't know, I don't know. But if you have other foreign currency, Ula, Botswana, if we're going up against your currency, best you sell it to me now because you're going to sit with it one day and, ha <laughs> ha! White people were right. Yes, white people have foresight. That's jelly. everything's going to be fine when Cyril wins. And so far, the rent is winning. Escom is winning. <laughs> so I'm buying up dollars 
which I'm gonna all sell again. Pula pounds. <laughs> when Cyril, <laughs> when Cyril starts zoomering, <laughs> I'm gonna sell everything. <laughs> so I'm buying everything now. So you must buy yourself some foreign currency. It's January, bruh. Like I'm waiting for month end. <laughs> month end. I'm just you, for month must I give you an advance? No, because I'm gonna spend it. Then I'm gonna be broke again. No, don't. Space, do you want an advance? You didn't even get paid. Well, it's not that you didn't get paid in, uh, in December. You actually bankrupted the company <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> so Space ended up acting in Leah Talatik a movie that we shot, or two movies we shot in December, which one day I got rained on. The whole production had to repay, reshoot with a cast and crew of 30 people traveling to Kronstadt from Joburg. So I had to take all those costs, which were not really budgeted for. And then I had one extra day shoot in Joburg where space happens to be on set and all I asked him was just run. That scene was like five minutes. Space invoiced for the whole day, for a whole day shoot. As a result, disadvantaged bankrupt productions wow. immediately wow. went bankrupt. <laughs> so wow. me and songs didn't wow. get paid for the Atlantic AC. Space got paid more, about twice his monthly salary for a few days work on the Atlantic AC. And he blew the money obviously in December. <laughs> so um He's fine. I'm sure he doesn't need a. He doesn't need a, an advance. But, um, okay, cool. So, oh yeah, we're waiting for comments about the taxi ride, uh, the taxi drivers, taxi fare, not coming down. Maybe some economics, or economy. What do they call them? What? The people who talk about economics. Oh, the economists. Economists. Yes. Not the economics. That's that's. My wife is going to cringe when she sees the English in these videos. Um, so yeah, just uh, comment, let us know. Uh, tag, at Songizile, what what. What is it? Is it just at Songizile? No underscore. Songizile. At Songizile. <laughs> and On Twitter, no underscore. Okay. And in space, at I am underscore. K-A-O. Yeah, K-A-O-A. What? K-A-O. You said K-A-O. You don't no, know. You don't know how to spell your name. No, what's that? <laughs> nah, come on, Jake. Ah. Dude, you say K-A. No. It's, it's in the video. No, I said K-E-O-A. Yeah, K-A-O. 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 Yeah, K